back, everybody. Uh, this is the Nerd Cauldron playing Chicken Police. I am Lyric with Sam and I'm Michaela. Sam. <laughs> Just go ahead and introduce you that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's um, not struggle this time. I was even on the ball this time. Damn. <laughs> um, we're gonna. We already did all this. We're just gonna bounce right uh, into it. The place is deserted. Poor Zip. You're right. Yeah, the guy's middle name is bad luck. That's for sure. The conversations, man. <laughs> oh, we got an achievement. Oh, Zip is a raccoon. Hi, Zip. He sure didn't get any younger. Or prettier. <laughs> Very perceptive, <laughs> chickens. Are still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, Scarlet. Okay. Hello, boys. Now get the hell out of here while I'm asking nicely. Yeah, that's very fitting for a <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> I'd say he's still mad. Look at the dagger tattoo. That's awesome. Hey, is that how you greet two old friends? Hey, I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. Oh my god, I love his long, <laughs> super long nails. Oh yeah. That's a nice detail. No, you don't, because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. It's going Jesus. Well <laughs> We're just here for a coffee, Zip. Okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? I like Zip. Yeah. As a matter right. of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. Then where'd you blow in from? Look at all the we scars he's anywhere. got, too. Yeah. But we're going somewhere. Yeah. Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? <laughs> Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Holy hell! Wessler? You've dipped your wings in deep shit, boys. <laughs> oh my god. Uh -oh. If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. I'm gonna slip you a 20 on the table. Grateful? <laughs> Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years anyway. Okay, Zip is definitely the type of character that I make for when I'm DMing. Uh, <laughs> that, like, that's the, that's the type of NPC that I have in my campaigns. <laughs> but now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. Wow. He's been what a name. Bottomed out. Brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Yeah, he gave up a lot of his <laughs> establishments. Yeah, weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's <laughs> always about a lady. Well, <laughs> there is a woman. I knew it. But not like you think. We already know yeah, that there's a woman. Gonna cost much? Only a favor. Like the good old days. Like the good old days. <laughs> okay. Man. We're gonna help the zip out with something. You know, sweep some stuff under the rug. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh my god, do I get to oh, play? Oh no. <laughs> Not all cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's do that one. Oh, I can't. Aw. <gasps> I can? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it changed. And voila, the master himself. What a finch. Yes. Sonny, he's a pigeon, not a finch. Don't make me angry, Marty. <laughs> oh my god. Castan Mavis. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. You still don't eat meat, old man? I'm a rooster. A chicken. Why the hell would I eat uh, meat? Chickens eat meat. I was about to say! I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic. But a meat substitute? There's about ten different kinds. Have you never tried any of them? Why would <laughs> I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild gods, Marty. Stop being such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? 
Mm. Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? That's very chicken talk for you, sir. <laughs> I don't care what you eat, but don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. Well, he would taste mm. like chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like chickens will gladly eat each other if they have any kind of injury chickens eat meat right like they don't give a damn i don't know why calling someone a uh, chicken is an insult because they're ferocious <laughs> well that's a good question pal what insight oh my god <laughs> The door didn't look like this last time. Yeah, because last time you tore it out and beat that baboon with it. Oh my god! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh yeah. The I image. Now. So that's why Zip remodeled the whole place. He had to. We didn't leave much of it standing. If I didn't mm. know how nice we are, I'd almost hate ourselves. Lord. Welcome to the club, Jesus. partner. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our uh, journal, shall we? Um, we had some information on Ibn. He's been acting quite strange recently, as if he was trying to withdraw from his own shady businesses to live a simple life with simple pleasures. That wouldn't be a problem in itself. But this just isn't like him. <laughs> Interesting. Who else do we got info on? Aha! Zip H. Murphy. An old enemy who became a good friend over the years. He used to be a small-time criminal, but the underworld pushed him out. Now he makes the best coffee in the whole city in a run-down roadside rest area. Oh, and he also proved to be a rather useful police informant. I felt it was appropriate to do the accent for him. Zip is getting old. He still has his con connections. It's worth questioning him about everything. But time has had its way with him, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so Mick is an infamous henchman. He's very cruel, and we've crossed paths with him before. Very interesting. Interesting. I'm just listening to the jazz music. I'm not even reading. <laughs> So they're using meat substitute to keep people from eating each other. It doesn't uh, protect the insect babies, though, does it? The highlight of my day. <laughs> yeah, I can smell it already. How does he make the coffee here so special? Look I don't know if I want to know. Trash panda, and tell me, do you really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right, as always. Sam, I feel like you're more sunny than I am. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's definitely <laughs> something you should say. <laughs> okay, so... At this point, we should be going somewhere else, yeah? Uh, I think so, yeah. Shall we go to the bar? Or the club, yeah, I mean? I think that's our next step, yeah. Ikimashou! Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main streets toward downtown. Shalva. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards. That is a like big-ass city. Lovers on a fine mm -hmm. sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing <laughs> red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Natasha. I know, that was so intense. <laughs> like this. Gosh. Natasha. I hope we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird. I feel like I'm reading a detective novel right now. Is that Great. our buddy? Ah, so this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. 
It's not for our kind. Do you get it? Sure. <laughs> and I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Do you get it? <laughs> well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Mossberg. Very We're up funny. to some foul business what here. <laughs> Bird. Is that? Yeah, that's our buddy. Bass. Hey, Lewis. Yeah. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lamar? Lewis. <laughs> yes, it's him. Be honest, Sonny. I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Hey, I will beat you up for Lewis. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? Of all people, be nice to Lewis. Right? Or kill him for it. You're reading my mind, boss. Listen, it Marty. Stalk lady. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. Brooch. Don't be so radical, Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. <laughs> mm, that was kind of deep. Was it? <laughs> it's not. Just bullshit. There's more where that came from. <laughs> At least he knows himself. When you're Whoops. old and bullshit. like me, you'll realize none of it is worth it. I accidentally clicked spend. through it. <laughs> Wait, that was deep again, right? Maybe it was, Marty. <laughs> Maybe it was. Shut up! <laughs> I don't know why I click on anything with these two. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. I like how this is red. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world. I'm telling you. You read that in some kind of science fiction book. Because this is set in, like, what, the 50s, 60s? No, it's just what I think. Oh, so you have your own thoughts now. The world's really moving forward. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, fancy car, advertisement, tower, newspaper. I'm just going to click on everything. Why not? When the Clawville Chronicle was a really high quality newspaper. Whoever's watching this Maybe Let's Play, they have to be very invested in the daily. story. <laughs> yeah. What exactly happened to them? Well, they got bored with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? You're too excited about this, Marty. Yeah, hilarious. Right? Hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> Advertisement. Ah, I like this. I've been watching Downton Abbey, so I'm starting to pronounce things like they do. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's moving, I guess. <laughs> Chicken being distracted by a moving piece of advertisement. <laughs> yes, I am. At least he knows himself. <laughs> My favorite one is the rhino. <laughs> right? I love her. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that the new? It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. I haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of all that's furry. Averia. Whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wesler. Ibn Wesler. I guess he's no paper tiger. Nope, he's a rat. Yeah, he sounds like a fella who rides around <laughs> in one of these. Lucky bastard. We're cops. We can commandeer that for cop business. All right. Uh, it's just telling about the Clawville Chronicle. The Chicken Police. And Averia. Exclusively by birds. Yeah, you can tell that by the name. <laughs> oh, cool. I wonder if that's where he and his wife were living before they split up. Hi, Bouncer. Jeez, look at that guy. Yeah, he looks like he could take that's your head good. off. 
That's a demon. For show. Sure. <laughs> of a cheap detective novel. You know, the one that we're currently in. <laughs> right. Bill. No, he's definitely a bar. I'm gonna guess Steven. Five bucks for Bill. <laughs> okay, I'm in. What do you guess? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Bill sounds like a, a pretty good name, to be honest. <laughs> right. Like for a bouncer. Yeah. Bill the. Bill Ram. Bill the Ram. The bouncer. Bill the. <laughs> Howdy, pal. Gentlemen, how can I Ooh. help you on this wonderful chili? Ooh, night? I like it. Talk more to me, sir. Expected in the VIP lounge. <laughs> Apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. Say something in your uh, ask? native language, please. Now stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Wait, what is that? It what is that accent? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? That's not French, is it? So he kind of yeah. sounds like he's French, but it's maybe is speaking English. <laughs> I don't right. know. Je peux parler un peu français. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't tell me you forgot. Always. I'm afraid I did. Mark. I always forget. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. It's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. Oh, it's definitely In French. Case, you can't come. Yeah. In. Oh, s'il vous plaît, mon amour. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> pleasure, gentlemen. Oh God! Stop! 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 Right? <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I was expecting to come next. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Maybe we can. There's another poster. Ah, you know, seeing this, I can't wait for the show. You know, another thing that we know about roosters is that they're always horny. So. <laughs> the girls. New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. We're not on duty. Have I asked how Laura's doing? Whoa, hey, I, I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering. Like the rhino beauty on this picture. He gets me. <laughs> Interesting taste you've got. Hey, she's gorgeous. Feathers, scales, or dermal armor? A lady's a lady, my friend. I'm with Marty on this one. We're inclusive yeah, here. Like <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sunny or judgmental Jesus. bird. Alright, let's see. What else can I click on? Nothing. Uh, should we talk to Lewis again? Maybe? Sunny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how... Happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. I love you, Lewis. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. I will punch you, Marty. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Lawrence. <clears throat> Anyways. So, the legendary chicken police back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? <laughs> Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long oh gone. <laughs> We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see. But that's a shame. See you inside. I have something to do, my pal. But I'll try to make it for the main event. Aww. Okay then. Catch you later, pal. Okay. That fella's built like a brick shit house. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to just sneak. <laughs> Want to bet? Not today, Marty. Remember. <laughs> He's ready to he just fight. Throws his fists up. <laughs> He's ready to throw hands with the bouncer. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. No trouble. I get it. It's okay, Bertha. Oh my God. Maybe next time. Jesus, where did he pull <laughs> that from? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. Did you bring Big Bertha with you? No, he just had a random rifle. God's no. What are you where thinking? did he even put that? Oh, oh shotgun. Shotgun to a club. <laughs> Was that a rhetorical question? We all know it's Marty. Can we talk to the stork lady? Uh, Let's not bother her. No. Okay, boss. Uh, so now what? We can't I, get in. Do I talk to the bouncer again? Oh. Uh, what can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? 
You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Yeah. Well, she owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. <laughs> Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything <gasps> more. He is French. <laughs> <laughs> say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course, Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman. And also a frequent <gasps> visitor of the club. Mr. Lewis! <laughs> is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. Lewis! Oh, goodness. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to him anymore. I want to talk to Lewis. Look, Lewis. That bouncer over there. Well, yes. He is a bit intimidating, but his um, manners are impeccable. Am I right? You sure are. Yes, <laughs> indeed, but it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh, I see. Lewis, go kick his ass. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Yeah, something like that. No, th it's exactly like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no problem at all. Uh, come with me. I'll talk to him. Thank you, Lewis. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Bunny? Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez. What the hell's wrong with you, Marty? <laughs> what? Did I say something wrong? I imagine Bunny is like calling a cat kitten you don't say that <laughs> for all his faults at least sonny's standing up for lewis for show sure. we don't really need to ask i think we just need to so, speak to yeah. him again, maybe there we go how'd you do everything's fine mr aworth hey well good <clears throat> uh, look this noble pair of pigeons are my friends lewis they're on the list okay Not la mon, sir. and as for you <clears throat> You owe me one, g g gentlemen. Anything for you, pal. Thanks, old pal. <laughs> oh, buddy, old pal, old friend. Whatever you want, Lewis. <laughs> As always. Sorry, I lost my shoe. <laughs> the jazz overwhelmed. I love jazz. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke. That's a good description. Spilled whiskey. Right? Behind the bar. Mm -hmm. Rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. That's Not awesome. Thereof. I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Sweetheart! <laughs> Does that mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. <gasps> Can I ship them? Is that wrong? <laughs> oh, men these days. So we're here to find a dame called Natasha. Natasha! I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. We're police, Marty. Get with it. No, Marty. Not like always. This time it's for real. <laughs> right. Keep your shit together, Marty. Yeah, Marty. Oh my god, I can spin. <laughs> Jesus. My eyes went cross for a second. <laughs> oh god, hi. I guess let's start at the left and go on over. <laughs> a man's best friend. Uh, that's not a dog, Sonny. That's a horse. He just has a very weird mane. I didn't mean him, Marty. I meant the bar. Oh, I see. <laughs> right. Yeah, because that totally makes sense. Yeah, because we're drunkards. Two whiskeys, kid. Oh, he's beautiful. Horsing around. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face. Racist. Give me a glass of tap water, too, okay? Yes, sir. Coming right up. He's gonna spit in your drink, Sonny. <laughs> that yep. wasn't exactly what I meant. As I recall, you're always bragging about hiding your shotgun in your coat so well, no one can see it. Sure. Where did this come from? Maybe I have it with me now. <sighs> what? 
Well, do you see that bottle, Marty? That's a 28-year-old Golden Eagle whiskey. Mm. Of all the furry gods, you're right. That's an and aged whiskey. On the bar. Someone ordered it, got so drunk he forgot all about it. So? How's your uh, sleight of hand? Uh. Confiscating it as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, more like stealing it. But if it's easier for you... Uh, you're <laughs> twisted, pal. But to be honest, I have no objection. Sonny, you're gonna get fucking fired. Yoink! Hmm. <laughs> Look, uh, Sonny, I know it's not my place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. Are you calling me an alcoholic? You're treading on thin ice, Monty. <laughs> because you're right. I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Isn't Moses and Plato the two guys that talk behind talking, our back? Eh? About what? I think about so. About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Look, I, I'm sorry. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Good. And let it stay that way. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Mom. Now let me get drunk in peace. <laughs> Herb. Hey, there's Philmar. Who? Oh yes, Philmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? It you know well. What? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. You know, the one that we're <laughs> currently in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Hi, Burb. <laughs> Philmar. Well, well. What, it, what type of bird is that? Marlo. Some kind uh, of hawk, I think. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Whoa. <laughs> God. Okay. Mr. Dumbass Alias Phil Marlowe. It. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? <laughs> it. That was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Jesus. Okay, okay, fair enough. Angry. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. It. Uh, I know the feeling. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? Oh my god. We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. <laughs> Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes. Just the usual. <laughs> oh, is he here... Uh, in uh, for Natasha because there he was going on about how pretty her eyes were. And you? Something like that. I just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. Natasha. Here. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind of to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any She'll useful fuck you up. You're free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. It Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Interesting. Click on it, Lyric. God. <laughs> was that a crow? I think so. That was the rat, I thought. Yeah. And. Ooh. <laughs> They're right there. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I don't want to click on them. I'm scared. <laughs> he's, got, he's got some dangerous looking friends. For show. Sure. Yes, it is. The great Ibn Wessler in the flesh so much for our incognito you think he noticed us only if he's not entirely blind uh, great <laughs> marty 
Should we keep going around questioning people or just talk to him directly? Dame um. with Ibn. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've barely begun to talk to these people. Right, there's a lot of people. She has pretty long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. <laughs> We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. We're here to investigate, remember? But pretty squirrels. Oh, she is a squirrel. She's got the. Uh, she's yeah. a. She's a red squirrel because of the the hair on her ears. So I guess we can't even talk to most of them. We can just. So, yeah. Where the hell is Natasha? Ah, look at how they're standing. <laughs> they're like. Jeez. What is that? It's like that meme of um, whatever his fucking name is. Well, let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. <laughs> Hmm, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. Hey, big gun. <laughs> sense of humor is bad as ever. You just need to get used to it again. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's my sense of humor. A fox is a wolf who sends flowers. What? <laughs> oh, nothing. I read it somewhere. What? <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> I didn't know you could read. Ha ha ha! Very funny. All right, cool. Can't even look at those no, two. No, we can't even. This guy is henchman. certainly not a gangster henchman. Certainly of not. not. <laughs> of course not. That woman with Ibn. I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. It. Okay. Well, we can look at the individual movie posters. Just act nonchalant, my friend. He literally can't. No. Right? It can't be. He doesn't have a nonchalant bone in his what body. Now? <laughs> Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Damn. She got a figure. Right? It's me, Marty McChicken. Oh, God. <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. The roaster coppers in person. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherlands, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is... Uh, he literally is... just said his name. Right. Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. He did it on purpose. <laughs> Ego. <laughs> Who does he remind me of? So, to what the oldest pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, like his uh, voice so reminds me of somebody. We were, um, just in the neighborhood and cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Natasha. Oh, <laughs> I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying <laughs> threats written on the wall with blood red paint. The usual stuff. The usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, indeed. It's a uh, nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Suspect number one. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with the Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, <gasps> so he's rather tired. Hamtaro! So excuse us. <laughs> oh, Hamtaro. dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? And if I've heard correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So, how can I help you? I feel like her head is way too small. Like, it needs to be a little right? bit bigger. It feels disproportionate. Got a few questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. Ooh, we get to do another interrogation. Uh, but we're going to save mm. that for the next episode. So if you guys want to see us interrogate Ibn Wesler, join us for the next time. And uh, until then, this is the Nerd Cauldron, and we'll see you then. Bye. See ya.